Hi guys, tortilla. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> some people have been having trouble with my accent, and there was a post in uh, UK Vapors. Somebody actually asked, "What do I say at the start?" Hi guys, Todd here. I actually thought it was "Hi guys, tortilla." There you go. <laughs> it's just brilliant. So. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, swiftly moving on, we have this mod, which arrived at the weekend and I've been playing with it for the past couple of days. It's the, the Des, I think it's called. Uh, this is the V3, uh, a Malaysian company who sent this on. In fact, the first I knew about this was when uh, somebody on my forum posted a photo uh, of the tubes lined up. And one of them had my name on it. That was the first I knew about it. Uh, so they, they got in touch and uh, got talking away and they posted it out and it arrived. And I have to say that I get a lot of vape mail, an awful lot of vape mail. And it comes in various, for example, the Privari comes wrapped in a jiffy bag. Some other mods just come in little pouches. This thing came in this box, lovely little wooden box, uh, cotton wool wrapped around it. Each tube had uh, like that cling film, heavy duty cling film, but it's actually heated and it's sh shrink wrapped. It's almost like shrink wrapped on it. Uh, this thing wouldn't get damaged in a million years. Touch wood. Uh, I, I'm very impressed with the, the way it was presented and the way it was delivered. So 10 out of 10 for that. So incredibly well wrapped. Uh, I've currently got uh, the JB Steamworks version of the RSST on here. You know, brass tank, top cap and a reducer inside. And this is it in 18.350 mode just now. And we'll just have a quick vape. That's a heavy VG, uh, goose juice. Uh, we'll pop this off. Now, now, this didn't take long to arrive at all. I think it was about a week it took to arrive. Uh, maybe not even that. And now, I got this free for review. Uh, I did not pay for this. But to buy this, uh, there's various methods of getting in touch with them. Uh, you can get there, they have a Facebook page. And uh, I do actually have a bit of information here. Uh, there's the actual Des Vapor web, uh, Des Vapor Facebook page, and there's a vape store page as well. And it's pricing is two hundred. Is it two hundred and fifty? Yeah, it's two hundred and fifty US dollars. That includes PayPal fees and international registered shipping, which takes five to ten days. And with that, you get an 18350 tube and an 18500 tube. Uh, the rest of the details we'll get into when we go in for close ups. And I think we'll just do that right now. Let's go in for some close ups. So here we go. Here's all the bits and bobs that come to you in the box. Uh, you also get a spring as well. There's well, two springs one in the switch and one that comes with it uh, a soft and a firm switch. Uh, We'll discuss that in a minute. It's a 22 millimeter mod, okay? And this is made from solid brass and stainless steel. Brass is 99.99% brass. Uh, connection pin is a uh, copper, and the top and bottom cap sleeve are bronzed. Um, and the button, the firing button, is actually aluminium. So there's a mix of materials going on here. And the thing to point out, this is all hand turned. It's not CNC, it's hand turned, uh, which is pretty impressive, uh, especially for the money. Um, so, we'll, where will we start? 
we'll start with the switch. So we'll take all this out of the way. We'll get in for a close up. You see, there's the logo there. Des. And you can see you've got your copper contact there. You've got your Delrin insulator that your battery sits on. Push the, it's locked. Reverse threaded locking button. Push the button and this pops up. And it's also got a serial number on it. This is 199. And just to show you how this works, it's your button there. And turn this, and that's it locked. Now, you don't have to screw it all the way in to get it to fire. You can actually just, you see there, it's not coming out far enough. Screw it up a bit more, and there we go. Just needs to clear the, the Deller in there. And that's far enough for it to fire. This is one heavy son of a gun. It really is. Um, it does add a lot of height to the actual the mod itself. But if I just pin my finger on the contact here. And then grab this. And start unscrewing. We can get into the switch. Show you how to change the spring here. So there we go. There's, now this is the stiff spring. Now the stiff spring, I found it means that you can stand the mod up with an, an atty on top um, and it will not fire. If, however, you try it with the soft spring, it will fire. Uh, there's your copper contact. Remember, this is made from aluminium. And this is all your copper here. You see in there. And... Take that out, and there's your locking ring and your switch. Machining's just can't fault the machining at all. I uh, really can't. Uh, pop it back together. I'll just stick that on there, like so. Grab this and just work it back in with my fingers. until it's done up tight and that's it if you don't if you're not sure just pin this with your finger and then just spin the bottom until everything starts turning and then you know that's you so that's it there's a switch top cap okay uh now i, I like the this is the wee things that i like on this um the venting I have venting here, okay? Uh, but you also have a reverse threaded adjuster here. Basically, it's going to take the gap out of anything. If you have anything that's sitting on here with a gap, you can take the gap out. It is going to create a gap down below, <laughs> which is, yeah, it works. Uh, it works, but, uh, you know, you replace one gap for another gap. It's the way I see it, anyway. But the thing I like is when you screw this down, you know, it's threaded so that, you know, the cutouts all line up. Have this copper adjuster here. You know, pop your atty on and just turn this to make contact. Uh, venting. You have three holes here. And you have one, two, three holes on the side here as well. And if I remember right, they actually come out the no, the top as well. If I undo this ring here, you've got vents there as well. And remember, this is reverse threaded. And once again, a very hefty piece of material, but uh, excellent threading. Really well made. Uh, the tubes. 18500 version it's got the logo on it the v3 and my name this is all diamond etched uh, threading is perfect absolutely perfect 
Uh, can't fault threading in this at all. Same with uh, the 18350. I really can't fault it. Uh, now, let's pop this all together. So there it is in 18350 mode. Now 18350 mode, I'm pretty sure this is 75 millimeters in height. It's not small, it's not the largest I've seen, but it's certainly not the smallest. Just to give you an example, here's my uh, my roller telescopic in 18350 mode, which I'm in the process of sanding down. And this is an EH Pro Enzonic copy. Uh, as you can see, these are all in 18350 mode. You see the difference in sizes there. Uh, something I've never, I didn't mention here, uh, which I probably should have done. The the locking ring. This is really strange. I don't know. They actually sent me some documentation, and I'll, I'll use their terminology. This. They state that it has a hydraulic feel to it, the locking ring, and it does. It's not like there's th threads making contact here. It's just, uh, it's like if you take a normal mod and you absolutely drench it in no locks, you know, the threads, and then you screw it, and it, you screw it together, and it's just like buttery, buttery smooth. That's exactly what this is like. It's not drenched in no locks. It's just the thread in there is just stunning. It really is. What can I pop on top here? Let's put on my scuba tank. Because it's looking lovely in brass and silver here. Oh, that. That's on a Cyan Mod switch tips that I did a little review for. Now, stiffer spring in it sits no problem at all. Watch you don't drop it. Uh, it doesn't wobble. It's not a wobbler by any means with the stiff spring in it, and uh, it will not fire. With the other spring in it, even in 18350 mode, with the scuba tank on top full, I found that it, the weight did make it fire. Uh, so I had to lock it every time I put it down. I'm finding that just one, two, two full turns fully opens it. But I'm finding that I only need like one full turn just over one full turn for it to fire. This is a tough little thing. This that my little-ish. Um, it's weighty in the hand. It's got quite a heft to it. I've actually got the weight here. Uh, they did give weights as well. Uh, height in 18500 mode or 18490 mode is 85 millimeters. Uh, weight without a battery in 18350 mode is 130 grams, and in 18500 mode it's 140 grams without batteries. Um, right, how am I finding this? How do right using this over the weekend? I love the aesthetics of it. I, I really do. I, when I first saw it, I think it was a version 1 or version 2 that I saw it first. And I thought it was a bit bling. Uh, it was just a bit too much. But the version 3 folks I saw, I thought, really nice. And now that it's here, it's even nicer. Um, right, for me, uh, it's good. Just stopped for my lunch there. Sorry. Um, for me, the button. 
the locking ring, locking mechanism, I should say, is just beautiful to use. It really is. As a rule for myself, I'm not a fan of... I'm not a fan of it, of firing buttons that extend out the bottom like that. I prefer them to be internal, you know, you push and it goes in the way. Um, but with the stiff spring in it, it's not so much of a problem because I can you know, I sit it down and it doesn't fire. Um, so that's okay. And the way I've got it just now with this setup, it's just... Something else. Um, cannot fault the build, the machining and the build of the thing. I just cannot fault it at all. Um, Conductivity-wise, voltage drops and so on. That you don't have to worry about with that. This thing. This thing just does the job well. Um, The only thing I can't get my head around, and this is possibly just me. Now it's two hundred and fifty dollars. That's about one hundred and fifty-six pounds going on my um, currency converter here. I would like to have seen um, now it takes the AWIMR eighteen three fifties. Now, if you put something with a really long five one zero connector on it, an ATI then you have to extend this pin right out quite a bit and because there's no adjuster in the bottom here you do and you can because i've tried it you can end up with it not actually making full contact with the top um i think it would have been better if they'd had you know shortened this and had a battery adjuster on this pin here I just I think that would have been a better thing to have um, the threaded section at the top is very similar to what you see on the, the origin it's the same kind of idea but on the origin it was for airflow control and I've had been using this with my IATI and it doesn't matter if, you know, I raise this part here up or down. I don't seem to be getting any more airflow. It doesn't, I don't think it's anything to do with airflow. It's just, it takes any gaps out that you may have. But it creates a gap at the same time. So I, maybe I'm missing something. There's a good chance I am. But uh, that that really doesn't really click for me I must say um, it's quite a it's not the smallest of mods but uh, you know it's not humongous by any stretch of the imagination it's not the, the, the largest one I've ever mod I've ever seen <laughs> here we go this is priced at, you know, top end of the market. This is a high-end mod. It's hand-turned. You know, it's not... I mean, they actually did state... I mean, they gave me some more information on that. Uh, there's no CNC machine involved anywhere. Tube is bored from a solid bar in three stages to produce approximately... 2 millimeter, 2.2 millimeter tube thickness. Um, 0.2 mil? That's going to be 2 mil, surely. 2 mil. Uh, all threading is turned by hand, uh, and every mod is fine tuned and polished by hand before final stage of diamond engraving. Uh, the maximum production they do is they turn around two complete sets in a day. Now that kind of lends itself towards the pricing. <laughs> I'm struggling here. I'm not struggling because I won't say anything negative about it. I, I think I'm struggling because 
a lot of the stuff that I get to see and I say, oh, it's brilliant, it's really nice. It's, I get excited about it as a vapor, not as a reviewer. Uh, I'm not actually very good at doing reviews because I, I enjoy vaping gear too much, probably. Uh, and this is one of these things that, you know, if this turned up, I'd be as excited as I am just now to get this because it is really is a nice piece of vaping equipment. Um, and the fact that it's all hand-turned and stuff like that just floats my boat even more. Um, there's a couple of things that, you know, like I think the battery adjustment should be in there, the anti-rattle. Um, I personally think that should be in there. The bit at the top, I'm not sold on. Um, but the materials and everything else, you know, 10 out of 10. It really is. And, you know... 18350 and 18500 tubes come with it. I wonder why they don't do an 18650. Strange one, but uh, the engraving's bang on. I would give it a thumbs up. If you appreciate the work that goes into a mod, you know, not just, no disrespect to people that get mod CNC'd, but goes into our work being hand turned and stuff like that, you know, you know, the threading and the tubes getting cut and all that. If you appreciate that kind of thing, you will love this. If you couldn't give a monkey's about how it was built, uh, then I may have slight reservations on the price. I'd be happy to pay that knowing how it was made, built and the work that went into it, to me that justifies the price. To other people, it might not. Um, and that, that's about all I can say in this one. I really like it. I, I mean, I do, I think it's a beautiful piece of work. And uh, from for me, 10 out of 10 to the guys that made it, uh, 10 out of 10. Some of the little finishing features on this thing are just stunning. They really are stunning. And, uh, just just another thing, I mean, this just another thing, another quick thing before I, I finish up here. Look at this. Remember I was going on about the, the vents being lined up there, that, you know, the inner section being lined up with the outer vents. That even lined up with the holes on this top section here as well. It's... It's silly wee things like that that really, it's the attention to detail that I love in this thing. And I'm going to stop. Thank you to the guys uh, for sending this on to me. And uh, let's say the link's up in the top. Look in the YouTube description. A direct link to the Facebook pages will be there for you can go and buy one of these. And... Uh, Stunning. No, really nice. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching as always, and we shall catch up with you soon. Bye now.